It is Golasso, boys. Let's see what we got for the squad to begin with. What type of absolutely? I might have to log out and log back in, actually, guys. Let's see. Holy Jesus. So that's interesting. It's a very small team compared to Fut Birthday. Now, don't forget, Thunderstruck, Fantasy FC, Fut Birthday were amazing promos. Is this going to be a disappointing promo? I don't know. As of right now, you've got a 94 Charlton, a 94 Cafu, a 94 Prince, a 93 Chabi Alonso is kind of crazy. The 97 Johan Cruyff with Power Shot and Rocket. Again, they had an opportunity to make Johan Cruyff a proper Johan Cruyff card. So something as simple as giving Johan Cruyff Tiki Taka Plus and Incisive Pass Plus would have been the move. The Power Shot and Rocket, I think, again, just goes to show that EA doesn't really understand players and doesn't understand how to give them boosts that give them the aura that they used to have, at least in my opinion. So I'm not going to lie. It's not like I'm ever going to pack that Johan Cruyff, but I'm kind of disappointed just simply off of the play styles that they chose to lazily give him. But it is what it is. I, I, you guys are rolling your eyes thinking, oh, there's Nick complaining already. Uh, Kohler looks to be a beast. David Ginola getting yet another special card is kind of a little bit of a resident sleeper. I'm not going to lie. Big Al, though, as a 93. And, of course, Dimitar Berbatov looks nuts. With Travella and Finesse, that's kind of cool. We'll have to go look at these cards, man. Oh, and there is baby version. So there's a baby Berbatov, too. And there's a baby Francis Galini. Is there a baby Ginola? Is there, is there a baby Big Al? There's two versions of Kohler, two versions of Berba. With different playstyles, too, interestingly. Okay, so what's the game plan here? Golasso Team 1 player items are available for seven days. I think I might have to do RVP, boys. It's an objective one. I might... I might have to do RVP, guys. Hold on. Is that a Plymouth Argyle retro kit that I just saw? Is there a Leeds one? There always is. Oh, no, maybe it was Sporting. I'm going to pay whatever price... At Liverpool, sorry. I thought that looked like a Plymouth kit. OG, that's a horrendous kit, by the way. The Chelsea kit. Juve. Come on, they always give us leads. No! Throwback threads? How is that a throwback thread, dude? What? 2015, according to EA Sports, is a throwback? Bro, I was two years into my streaming career at that point, and that's a throwback? Come on now. PSG is dead, too. Who cares about PSG? Let's be real. Atletico. What what year is this? 1974. Beva Bay. Sporting is kind of cool. Stadium Essentials? What's all of this? Why am I... Oh, God. How long has this been around for? I really want that. I hate myself. Guys, I hate myself. I really, really, really want that. Club exclusive kits... Custom Stadium Bundle? The hell is all this? Is this the Fought Birthday stuff? Yeah, this is the... I, I was going to buy this, guys. I'm not going to lie. And then I forgot about it. That's hilarious. I wish I, I wish I did buy it. Okay, so anyways. I was hoping for a Leeds setup. Uh, of course, we have the Leeds team, as mentioned. I think that's probably the team I'm going to go with. We'll put Melier in the squad. Otherwise, that's about the team we're going to go with. And um, let's see here. Let's see here. If we go look at quality, I don't know. I mean, as of right now, Golasso Hero. So there's no separation between the... You got a Crouch, which I would assume is an SBC then? Okay. So we've got a Dimitar Berbatov, 5-star, 4-star. With, I think, sick playstyles. I mean, just the finesse and the Travella playstyle plus is sick. Tech as well. Chip shot, power shots, cool. I think very, very cool. Pinked pass, first touch. I mean, you should, you'd argue that he should have first touch as a playstyle plus as well, right? If, if it's Dimitar Berbatov, the man with the best first touch in probably one of the, the best first touches in probably the history of football, but whatever. Uh, very cool card. 
cold-blooded in front of goal, cool under pressure. Berbatov was um, best friends with big moments. An iceberg, his serene exterior on the pitch, hid what was underneath the surface, a brilliant footballing mind, calculating his next move. I kind of like that. Um, though he played with ice in his veins, he never froze in the face of top competition. By the time he hung up his boots, Berbatov was a two-time Premier League champion, golden boot winner, one of the most graceful strikers of all time. Okay, so this event is just highlighting incredible careers of players. They better have an amazing highlight message of uh, Johan Cruyff. Anyways, Big Al, five-star, four-star as well. Nuts card. It's got Finesse, got Rapid, got Tiki Taka. Don't let the smile fool you because uh, Alawairan is smiling. Doesn't mean he isn't just waiting for an opportunity to suddenly strike an eagle. He heroically swooped in against Belgium in 94 to score one of the greatest ever World Cup goals. <clears throat> I, you know what? I don't even remember this. 90, I mean, in 1994, I was nine years old. So I don't really remember the 94 World Cup at all. David Ginola, again, resident sleeper choice, but obviously going to be an absolutely nuts card, especially with uh, Travella and Tech. Playstyle Plus, especially with a, well, maybe a Sniper? Yeah, I would give him a Sniper for sure. Uh, sorry, a Finisher. Finisher is what I meant. Competitor David Ginola is named for playing Europe's biggest sides in the 90s. He was a magician on the ball, tricking opponents and creating chances out of thin air for his teammates. Two-time member of the Premier League Team of the Year, French Player of the Year, and even one of the 12 named in the world. One of the 12 named in the world, 11 and 96. Is I will say this right now, though. Is it me or have EA and the way they've built cards just made David Ginola to be a way bigger footballer and celebrity that anyone ever remembers is that fair to say like have they just they've tried to bring him in in this in these upgrades and the way his card plays kind of like he's got a Cruyff era card like he's a Cruyff era player a Cruyff style player like I just don't I really don't understand the obsession with making Ginola seem to be a like Zidane Cruyff level but on the hero metrics I, I don't know I, I find that very odd. Anyways, I don't mean to make any Ginola fans mad if there even are any before he came on Ultimate Team. Guarantee you they weren't. Not that played Ultimate Team, that's for sure. We move on. Uh, Rudy Kohler. I don't really care about reading this. I don't really care about this card. Francis Scalini. Someone I know nothing about, honestly, at all. Uh, a hero of his nation of Uruguay. Fan bases across Europe and South America. Enzo Francis Scalini could make something out of nothing. Produce goals and assists for fun. Dancing around defenders with an effort effortless elegance. Pure creator that influenced a generation of footballers after his retirement, including, including several other icons. He's a three-time Copa America winner, Libertadores champ, truly one of the greatest to ever live. Okay. Very cool card again. In terms of ultimate team dynamics, this, this card is cracked. Definitely. Um, so, the oh, there is a Big Al. Wait, there is a, I didn't notice him. There is a lower rated version of Big Al. Damn, that lower rated version is still cracked. What the f... Yeah, this card's nuts too. These will be the ones that we all pack, by the way. A 4 star, 4 star Berbatov is so resident sleeper, man. They did give him a first touch playstyle plus on this one. I like that. Power shot. I kind of... Is it funny that the play styles, the way... I understand for the meta, the 93 they gave Finesse and Travella is better for the meta. But in terms of Dimitar Berbatov and how he, I remember him playing at Spurs and Leverkusen and uh, pains me to say, but even at Man United, I, the first touch plus and power shot, I think is a lot more realistic for Dimitar Berbatov in terms of the aura of the type of player he was. So I think in terms of play styles, at least, this version of the card is much better. And again, would probably benefit highly from a finisher. Yeah, finisher would make him actually cracked. Even uh, even with the lower rating. Okay, so Francis Galini, same thing. Again, don't really care though. Dempsey, Mr. I believe that we will win. At least USA fans get yet another special card. I, I can't complain. Canadians got three special cards last event, so. Oh, I forgot to buy Taijan Buchanan. Oh my god, I need to go buy him before he uh, goes up in price. And then we have a 88 Crouch. Four star, five star. With, I, I like this too. See, I feel like they did the play styles right on him. The power header, but also acrobatic. That's cool as hell, man. 
Flair. This is a fun one. This is a Sway type card all day. This is built. This is a card built for Swayback. Oh my God! It is absolutely a card built for Swayback. Dear Lord, everyone's gonna hate their lives having to play Sway this weekend, dude. Basha's about to get forty-seven more assists this weekend. <laughs> Okay, now let's really erupt. I'm so ready. Oh, we got a coal too. Oh my god. His Golasso epitomized who he was as an icon, marauding left back who helped redefine the position. Chelsea fans erupting or what? Chelsea fans erupting or what? This has got to be an SBC then. Damn, man. They just keep releasing god-tier left backs, don't they? I... Wait, so there's a higher rated version of RVP as well? Bro, you guys know my feelings about RVP, man. I, I told myself to grow up. Just because he was a fraud for the Dutch national team. I told myself to grow up, man. He's still an absolute icon of the sport. And he seems to be a really, really good guy trying to raise his son right too. So as much as I, I won't forgive him for being a fraud for the national team when it mattered, if you dare say, oh, but he scored a bunch of goals in friendlies against frickin' Zanzibar, it doesn't matter. Klasian Huntelar had to bail him out over and over again. Doesn't take away from the fact that he was a baller. And if I, I honestly am probably gonna put him in my in my national in my Dutch national team. Chavi, Charlton, what a nuts card. Oh my, what a nuts card this is gonna be. Can we just can we just take a second and erupt? Johan Cruyff transformed from artist to acrobat as he scored through the air to score one of the most memorable goals. It was a strike fitting of the label Flying Dutchman. Cruyff arriving at the back post in full flight, leaping feet first to catch the ball with the outside of his foot. Not only did the Golasso lift his side to victory, it lives on as a shining example of Cruyff's iconic creativity. And yet you then give him power shot plus and quick step. Huh. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Anyways, I reiterate, EA, kind of clueless at times. But, uh, all good. This card would be, I'm sure, my favorite card to use of all time. But, uh, God. I wonder who would pack a card. <laughs> I wonder who would pack a card like this. Seriously. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right, I, we don't care, right, boys? Let's have a quick look. Oh, do we get? Do we even get Evos? Did they give us Evos today? I've forgotten about Evos, man. That Cruyff got me feeling some kind of way. Skilled defense, skilled defense. Silky center half. Radioactive Dynamo. Hero Chronicles. The hell is this? Improve pace, passing, and physicality. Okay. Golasso. Wait, so someone will be able to hit a David Ginola and then make him even better? Oh my god, it's so boring though. Okay, but seriously, that Peter Crouch is... <laughs> that Peter Crouch is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Uh, really boring Evo, but I don't know. Maybe if you get lucky and get a Big Al, turn Big Al into a Psycho card would be pretty hilarious. Um, all right. So, Evos, not that exciting. Let's go have a little look at SBCs and then we'll check objectives too. And like I said, I got 50 player pick packs, man. Winter wildcard, team of the year. I'm not, I don't think I'm really going to worry about that one. Vinny got added. What the heck? Where's this? They didn't give him his dynamic yet? Anyways, Vinny got added. We talked about this on stream, but not uh, for YouTube. So, this card's going to be cracked, but they actually made him cheap enough where he's the next Sawa. He's the next Werner. Every sweat on earth is going to have this card. I really, I tweeted that I really wanted to craft this card, but then I looked at the requirements. They made him low rated enough and cheap enough. He still costs about a million coins to craft, but they made him low rated enough and cheap enough that every sweat is going to have this card. Part of me wishes they made him like 93 rated and another million coins. So it just he required a bit more effort to get, then I would have been then I would have been more willing to craft him. But right now, 
I just think he's going to be in every Sweats team, which is unfortunate because God knows he's going to be amazing. Um, ah, okay, so Big Al. Big Al is indeed the SBC. So you can craft him and then make him 91 rated. With what? What is he going to get? 99 pace then? What's the cost? Uh, that I mean, that ain't cheap though. Oh, it's a max of 90 pace. Oh, that's ass then. So we got a refresh on the 84 by fives. The PPs are still available, which is great. I didn't I didn't see that there was a, a, a 90 pace max. My bad guys, sorry about that. Grimaldo, wait, is this back? Is this new? 80 plus triple upgrade. Oh, I think I'm doing this. I might do this instead of PPs. This is way better. Historically for me, in terms of opening packs, oh, 11 rares. Uh, 